Hi all, I'm Yunus. Welcome to my channel. It was quite some time ago I passed AWS Solution Architect Associate exam. But I was able to do it with less than 3 weeks of preparation and I was able to get 940 out of 1000. In this video, I will try to list out the various activities you can do for preparing for AWS Solution Architect Associate exam. I'll talk about the free materials available, the free practice tests available and I will also talk about some of the key question areas or frequently asked questions from where all you may get questions in your exam as well. I am doing this video as two part series. In the first part I will talk about the preparation process. I have divided that preparation process into round 1, 2 and 3. And in the second part I will talk about some of the frequently asked questions or the topic areas from where you, will, you can expect questions. Frequently questions are being asked from there. Okay, with that quick introduction, let's begin. I have actually divided this into three rounds. The preparation round one is for going through the course material and round two is for taking the practice tests and round three is talking about the steps to confirm if you are ready for the final exam and it will also talk about a couple of official course material and practice tests which are available for free. So these are the three rounds. So let's start with round one. So here you have to find an exam preparation course. Could be free or it could be a paid one from Udemy. So I'm going to talk about some of the free material available. If you go to YouTube, you can actually get several free training courses, full length training courses for Solution Architect Associate. So you can go through that. There are some 10 hours plus sort of courses. I'll give some of the links in my video description. And another one I would suggest is free training from AWS. Let me click on this. This is for the technical essentials course, but it covers most of the topics which are part of Solution Architect exam. So let us go there and see and come back. Okay, so this has multiple chapters. Let me just click on start learning. Okay, so this is the technical essentials course. It is free and it has multiple chapters. We don't have the time to go through everything. But please note that it is a video based training and it is coming from AWS itself. And good thing is that they also have questions at the end of each chapter and they will also talk about how to resolve those questions. So this is a good training material to read in the beginning. Now let's go back and see which are the other materials available. You have a free tutorial with tutorials point. You can try this as well if you don't like the previous one. So it will look something like this. It talks about most of the key AWS services. Yeah, for the first round of reading, this will be good enough. Okay, let's go back to the slide again. Let's see if there are other materials. Or you can go through the AWS services overview document. This is a very good document. I really liked it. Let me just show you this. See, this is a 85 page document. Of course, you cannot read all the 85 pages, but then try to read what you require. For example, if you want to know more about Amazon Kinesis, just go here, page number 11, click on this. You can see that there is a short note, very short note given, which is easy to read, easy to grasp, easy to remember the key points which you need to remember for the exam. So this is a very good document. If you look at the index, it has a lot of services or almost all the services. How will you know which are the services which are covered in this exam? For that, there is another document. Let me show you. If you go to this document, which is the exam guide, it will tell you which are the services which are included for Solution Architect exam. And don't worry about these links. I will give all these links in the video description. And you can see here that, okay, which are the services which are included in the exam topics, exam outline. Okay, let us go back. So we are still in round one. Then we have some paid courses. Okay, these are paid courses, not free. Um, in Udemy, we have Stephen Marek's Solution Architect course and Neil Davis Solution Architect course. Both are good. If you want, you can purchase one of them. Yeah, you can see here that this is Udemy. You can see this is the course right by Stephen Marek 4.7 out of 5 rating and Neil Davis course 4.7 rating. Both are good. You can decide which one you want to go with. But it is not mandatory. Without purchasing a paid course, it is possible to pass 
solution architect course that's what i was trying to tell you now if you prefer to read a book rather than the video courses you can get this book called solution architect official study guide this is published by aws itself only thing is it is slightly old but still to get a overview of all the services and aws itself it is very good actually let me just show you in amazon.com this book yeah this is the book you let pay for it but i have purchased it and i i found it really good but it is up to you whether you want to spend money on these course materials and books but i'm just telling you the options available an important tip i want to share please prepare your notes as and when you go through your preparation material that is very important you will go through all these material but you will not remember everything even if if you read 100 things you may remember only 10 things after 2 days so it is very important that all the key facts you read about please make a note in a notepad or in a word document so that just before 2 3 days before the exam you will have a like a 15 page word document with all the important notes okay which will help you in of course getting 30 40 questions in the final exam so please do that okay let's proceed so we are in round 2 round 1 was all about reading from any course material whether it is a book whether attending a youtube based course or whether attending some free courses available from aws or some free tutorials from tutorials point whatever it may be you have to go through the basic material you have to familiarize yourself with the key services which are included in the exam so you have done that assume you have done that you should take maybe a week to do the first round in the second round we are going to take as many practice tests as possible and i believe practice test is the most important preparation material for any of the aws certification courses so as a first step what you can do is 10 sample questions are provided by aws so please download that in pdf and then try to answer that i'll show you those questions see these are the 10 questions and these are from aws so these are the exam level questions complexity wise and length wise etc so go through it and the answers are given at the end with explanation okay so you can first try to answer because you have already gone through one round of preparation so just try to answer these 10 questions and then you can compare the answers at the end answers and explanations are given and if you are able to get 5 out of 10 i would say that is a good score i know it is only 50 percentage for passing this exam you need 72 percentage but that is okay 50 percent score is very good and now identify the areas where you are weak because out of those 10 questions okay there is a, there was a question about kinesis and you couldn't answer it okay so you are weak in kinesis so identify those areas and do a targeted reading of the relevant topics i showed you that overview document that is a very good place where you can actually go and read only about the areas where you got the answers wrong or what you can do is there are very good cheat sheets provided by these are free one is from tutorials dojo cheat sheets let us try to go there and quickly take a look okay so this is the cheat sheet you can see course and ebooks aws cheat sheets you can see and uh, quite a lot of information you have got so if you want to know more about ebs or if you want to know more about eks you can go here it is very good set of cheat sheets which is available here also here exam study guides you can see that aws exam study guides you can see solution architect associate and go there and see there are sample questions and answer also answers also given so it is a very good preparation material i would say let's go back to the slide now another cheat sheet by jayendra patil you can see that he has prepared very good cheat sheets just go through it on a need basis what i'm saying is you will not have time to go through each and every line written in these cheat sheets you go through the practice test identify your weak areas and then go to these cheat sheets and then read through the relevant topics so round 2 is continuing you can leverage a few free tests available there are several links i have given i will provide these links as part of the video description so don't worry about these links but these are free tests available okay so you can just try out these there are several of them so you have from tutorials dojo then we have knowledge hut 
then we have simply learn then we have wiz labs then we have sas guru then we have edu gorilla so i am suggesting this free test just in case if you don't want to spend much money on purchasing a paid practice test but there are very good paid practice tests available in udemy one is tutorials dojo and another one is from stefan marek both are really good practice tests there are sales going on every time in udemy so you can get it at a very competitive price you can get it so just go for it if you are ready to spend some money on your practice test these are really good and it is very very much comparable with the final test these are the two practice tests i was talking about aws certified solution architect associate by stephen marek and this is the tutorial stojo and then neil davis one also you can try there are several options but these two are really good i have seen that okay so practice test round 2 is continuing after the exam after each exam analyze the answers especially the wrong answers and update your notes that is very important please ensure that you are able to do that and then do a targeted reading of the topics where you did not score well that is also very important i have given you a number of cheat sheets number of documents number of free training material tutorials etc i have already given you so use all those documents or purchase that book which i suggested and then go through the topics where you did not score well you did not answer the questions and only after doing that step go to the next practice test and repeat the steps above so round 2 is continuing take at least three practice tests and you should be able to get 65 to 70% in your last practice test so that is my suggestion i know the final passing score is 72 percentage but still i'm telling you if you are able to get 65 to 70 percentage in your last practice test that is good and again i'm repeating keep building your notes throughout your preparation steps once you reach the final days before the exam the notes will prove very useful i already told this my my experience tells me that the practice tests are the most useful tools in the exam preparation for aws certification exams and after you are done with the three practice tests whether it is from udemy or whether it is from any other platform which is free it is time to move to the final round of preparation using official materials you can take the official exam preparation training from aws and the official practice test i will show you that and i will also tell you some steps which you can try to see if you are ready for the final exam let's go to round 3 So in the round three, there is a training which I am suggesting. This is official AWS exam focus training. This is coming from AWS, and this course is free. It has video courses, and there are several questions at the end of each of the module. There are questions, and they will explain how to answer those questions. Now the official practice test. The link is here. You can take the official practice test. You have to do twenty questions in forty-five minutes. I haven't enrolled for that but you can do that 20 questions 45 minutes and this is coming from AWS so the questions pattern the difficulty level complexity level everything is same as your final exam just see if you are able to get out of 20 if you are able to get some 12 out of 20 correct i can tell you that you can go and write the final exam and you will pass that is a, not a rule of course but based on my experience with my colleagues and my own experience i can tell you that okay now round 3 is continuing how will you check whether you are ready for the exam or not i'm just suggesting a readiness test okay just see okay whether you really want to do it or not but it it will be a good exercise actually it will tell you what you don't know about some of the key services basically i have listed a few services here please take a paper and pen and please try to note down four or five key facts about the following services without referring any documents i'm not reading it out there is no point in reading it out i will provide this list as part of the help document which i'll share through the video description so iam common security attacks and remedies a few things i have listed just see if you are able to note four to five key facts and in the next step readiness test is continuing i am suggesting that for these topics see if you can note down three to four key facts okay so because based on the number of questions which you can expect 
these topics are slightly at the lower side compared to the previous set of topics. Readiness test is continuing. Please see if you can write down one or two key facts about these following services. I am asking one or two key facts based on the fact that the number of questions which you may see on these topics may be comparatively less. Please don't take all these as like 100% accurate. You may get uh, two, three questions from Elastic Beanstalk and you may not get one question from the previous set of topics. But very high level, you can just follow this. Then readiness test is continuing. Just go through these keywords or key topics and see if you can recall where these services are used. I am not reading it out, but I will give you the list. So don't worry. And also try to recall the various timeouts and limits. For example, visibility timeout in SQS. You need to remember that. You may get a question based on that. Try to remember some of those important timeouts and limits. So assume that okay, you have done all the three rounds of preparation. You are ready for your exam. You are booking your exam. If you are from a non-English speaking country such as India, you can ask for 30 minutes extra time for your exam, which is available for non-native English speakers. So please make use of that. And you know you can take the test from home or from a test center. It's up to you which one you choose. But I personally prefer test center because if you are taking the exam from home, you have to be always facing the camera in case if you want to go for a restroom break, you can't do that if you are at home. All those issues are there. If you go to test center, it is, it is much more convenient uh, test taking environment. That's what I have felt. Now about the preparation time. See, pre for preparing for Solution Architect Associate exam, three weeks is good enough. Spend a couple of hours every weekday and try to spend five to six hours on weekend days. That's what I would suggest. If you are able to spend some 50 to 55 hours in preparing for this exam, including all the practice test analysis, reading, everything, you will be able to pass. I hope you found my suggestions useful. So please try to use some of those materials which I have suggested and some of the methodologies and the order in which you have to do certain activities I have mentioned that. Please try out that and definitely come back to the YouTube video and add your comments in the comment box about whether these suggestions were effective or not. Okay, so this is the end of the first part. I will have a second part as well where I will talk about the frequently asked questions. Please check out that video as well. And if you think this video was useful, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Bye.